And now, live in studio, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Yes, here we are again another day committed to being your consumer advocate. It's all about helping you understand your buying decisions here, making you just a bit more street smart on the Consumer Quarterback Show, powered by the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. We want to help you win in your real estate deals, buying, selling, or investing, or 80 different categories of consumer advocate content and advice right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, Tampa Bay and the Gulf Coast region's number one consumer advocate program. And we want to go ahead and make our introductions here. We've got uh, from Fabray Frameworks, Blake Knotts, back on the show. Blake, how you doing? Doing well, Brandon. Awesome, yep, we're man. Gonna be Today we're going to be talking about, we're going to be going over virtual tours and the importance they have, especially in today's ever-changing market. Um, you know, things have been a little bit crazy and, and we all got to adapt and, and the virtual tours are the way to go, uh, real estate photography. That's right. Real estate photography, virtual tours, videos, Matterport, get the video walkthrough as well. You pop that up on uh, some of the real estate marketing websites. It's a great opportunity uh, for local uh, real estate owners, business owners uh, to take advantage of Fabre Frameworks and their expertise in real estate photography. Also, Fred Muth. The Tin Man, Tampa Screens and Aluminum. Welcome back, sir. Thank you so much. I'm here at my desk. I have my virtual headphones on. I have my virtual mic in front of me. Well, I'll tell you what, I miss the studio. I, I really do, but I'm trying. I'm trying to make it work at my desk here, guys. Hey, you're doing a great job. I think we're getting close to being back in studio. We'll see. Things are starting to come through the other side. It looks like we're coming through and uh, going to be, you know, I just saw, you know, some of the beaches are opening back up here uh, in Tampa Bay and things are looking on the up. Yeah, it'd be nice to do a live a live broadcast from the beach. That's <laughs> a safe go. place. There we go. Yeah, let's do it. We'll set that up as well. Uh, making its debut to the Consumer Quarterback Show as well, uh, we've got uh, Brandon Faust, President Mold Zero and Germ Zero on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Welcome in. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm glad to be here. Decided to make the trek up to Newport Ritchie. Uh, I think the other uh, the studio is a little bit closer to me, but I was glad to come today. Yeah, awesome, man. Looking forward to that. So we're going to talk a little bit about you know mold. It's a silent killer. It's it's behind the walls. It's all over the place, and especially with the challenges we have here uh, in Tampa Bay with humidity and Florida in general. Uh, great opportunity to learn about Brandon's business and how he might be able to help you uh, residential and commercial applications uh, to mold zero uh, here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. So uh, we want to give a shout out to uh, one of our sponsors it's golf cart depot right here in tampa bay they are making house calls right now they're actually going to bring the golf cart to you and allow you to test drive the golf cart at your home uh, they've also got the uh, easy go they've got star ev cushman uh, pre-owned and refurbished uh, opportunities available for golf carts here in tampa bay they've got a lando lakes location and a clearwater location and they're offering now the icon electric vehicles as well adding that to their inventory so clearwater and lando lakes locations for golf cart depot make sure you let them know the real estate quarterback sent you and take them up on special offers and incentives you could use them for personal use or commercial use. I've got my uh, Keller Williams Red beautiful golf cart uh, from Golf Cart Depot, and we wrapped it with the Keller Williams logos and the Keller Williams information about the Consumer Quarterback Show. Reach out to our friends Marty and his team at Golf Cart Depot. Let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. Take them up on special offers and incentives just by mentioning that you're a fan of the Consumer Quarterback Show. And we want to tell you about a couple of hot listings that we just listed with our team at the Keller Williams team, uh, Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams. Uh, we've got a property at 520 George Street South right here on Lake Tarpon. This one is a beautiful property in Tarpon Springs, waterfront, on a ski lake, a uh, fishing lake. Bring your boat. There's also a mother-in-law suite there. So you've got an income opportunity or maybe a, a mother-in-law suite, maid's quarter uh, here in Tampa Bay, 520 
George Street South, Tarpon Springs, hot real estate property listing of the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. And check out 13733 LaRue Drive in Hudson. This is another property that we have in Hudson, Pasco County, Florida. Uh, beautiful property, ownership, uh, pride shining through in this beautiful property. Uh, four bedrooms, two bath, uh, great opportunity to own real estate here in Hudson. Owners are motivated. Check out all of our listings at Platinum MVP Team. Dot kw.com. All right, let's jump right into it. Uh, Blake Knotts representing Fabre Frameworks. You've heard Jeanette on the show, Sean Fabre, Manny Fabre. Uh, what's happening in the in the real estate industry right now? I know we're, a lot of people are going to more virtual type of an opportunity, Blake. Yeah, it's 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 been crazy, Brandon. So you know, January and February we did roughly about 40, 40 Matterports, the three D virtual tours. Uh, March we got a little uptick, around sixty. April has been over 200. So, I mean, the entire market has shifted to this wow. virtual tour right now. Um, one, of the, one of the benefits, uh, obviously, it's the 24-7 open house. So for folks that don't have an opportunity to get in the house and feel it, um, they, can, they can use this technology. Uh, think of it as a Google Street View for the home. You know, you got the little circles and you can click through the living room, click through the hallways. Uh, there's actually some pretty cool features within that you can measure a door jam. You can see how high a counter is. A um, lot, a lot of cool technology, you know, with that, the realtors get the branded and unbranded links. Um, they can use that for their own personal marketing. Um, it's, it's overall, it's just a, a great technology and, and glad we're able to offer that to our clients. Wow. Yeah. That's, a, that's an interesting opportunity too. If you think about somebody that's moving down from maybe the Northeast or the Midwest, or even uh, taking advantage of currency exchanges and, and moving from another country, the, the ability to be able to, did I hear you right? You're able to measure the, yeah. the height of the yeah. cabinets or the, the, you know, making sure that your refrigerator is going to fit, or if you're going to bring appliances, you're purchasing, you know, maybe a, a six burner propane stove. You're able to do that type of planning before you actually move in or, or see the property. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 pretty amazing. There there's some other there's some other different technologies, but Matterport's by far the best. And you know, for Bray Frameworks, we're we're able to offer that at a very affordable price. And we built some really great packages that you know come with the with the photos and the free drone aerials um, that really give you know our clients top-notch value to to market their properties. Yeah, when you think about marketing uh, and you look at it. Um, Blake, Rob, I want to throw up, for example, like the Harbor Drive property. If we can throw that one up, uh, for example, Fabre Frameworks, I ordered the photography. They went out. They took this beautiful photography of this property. So if you look at it, uh, it's going to show you, hey, here's the proximity to the water. There's the bridges. Uh, you can get a lay of the land uh, from your home computer or your iPhone or Droid. And I love how we have the the, the two separate lots outlined uh, with the red there. So you can see, hey, I'm a boater. I want to take my boat right out that channel. I want to be into the intercoastal waterways. You know, the, the drone photography really opens up a lot of avenues for your clients, Blake. Yeah, yeah, especially like you said, those waterfront properties. It's going to give you your surrounding areas. It's going to, you know, show you the lake views, the the ocean views. Um, it really brings a different perspective and and lets our clients understand, um, you know, what's around and and the valuable parts of those properties. You know, and one of the things that's interesting, I find it's super interesting, uh, just about two, two and a half, three years ago, the maximum number of pictures that the MLS would allow for was 25 pictures. Then they doubled it to 50. And now I've seen some of the properties up to 100. And I try to put as many pictures as I can in my listings, all different angles, different, uh, you know, per perspectives of each room, each corner of the property. And the more property pictures that you have in there, it's going to help your search engine and optimization online as well yeah so you know the mls is continuously adapting you know right now they're they're even allowing some some of these virtual tours to be posted um you know the virtual staging they've just recently allowed as well um you know the more pictures the better you know, every angle that you can get you know 360 of the room um you know the more information the better and like you said it the, the SEO on those on those homes, uh, it just increases the value dra dr drastically.
Yeah, absolutely. FabreFrameworks.com is the website, and Blake is uh, representing Fabre Frameworks today on the Consumer Quarterback Show. If you just joined us, I'm your host, Brandon Rimes. So let's talk a little bit about staging. I think that's one of the areas of real estate. The traditional staging is it's somewhat expensive. You know, they're bringing in couches and furniture and chairs. Uh, when you, you have an opportunity now to virtually stage, uh, what does that do for the consumer? What does that do for the agent, Blake? It just helps you visualize the space, you know, a, a lot of people, you know, me specifically, you know, I'm not the most creative person. Um, so we have a couple ladies in the office that are experts on this technology. Um, they have great, great sense of, of space and how to represent that space. And, um, you know, we, we ask the client, do they want a rustic feel, a modern feel? Uh, and we set that virtual staging up. We, we put the furniture in and, and you know, visualize the space, send that to our clients, and um, it, it just—it's it, a very—it um, it really helps show you know showcase the space and, and what can be done in that room. Right. Yeah, I think that's a big part of it. When when people are looking to, you know, buy a new home, uh, relocate, uh, a lot of renters as well. I think renters are a big part of the market right now looking to, you know, get into home ownership versus uh, being in a position of, you know, paying rent, uh, fueling their landlord's investments and his portfolio, buying uh, a property. When they're able to do that and the staging comes through, I think it gives them that that peace of mind knowing, yes, this is, this is what we're looking for. This is a layout out and it might give them ideas of how to you know decorate that new home yeah definitely definitely it, it shows what what can fit where where it can fit you know what type of looks going to already look you know look great in there and um, just bring some bring some visualization to the room that you know if you went the traditional staging route could cost you you know thousands so it's you know, cents on a dollar with the virtual staging. So it's a, it's a great technology. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Blake. More from Blake coming up in our show. We're going to talk about our lightning round. We've got Fred Muth, Tampa Screens and Aluminum, uh, Brandon Faust as well, Mold Zero here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Coming up, we always do a feel-good story of the day. We want to tell you something positive here on our show. A neighborhood surprises little girl with dog parade for her birthday. Find out about that and more from our expert contributors coming up here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Follow us online at Brandon Rhymes One on Instagram and Twitter, Brandon Rhymes PA on Facebook, and of course the Platinum MVP Team.com. We'll be right back. All right, this week we're going to talk about something exciting as usual. We always have something exciting. Yes, we do. At least it's exciting to us. But this is a question that comes up. TV, hey, it is Friday night. We're not here. Yes, we pre-recorded once again because we Beam TV is working over in Tampa with Dan Zuber Star. <laughs> 62, who knew? I almost said Professional Mortgage Alliance, Joe's Bar and Grill. But actually, it's our 39th week. Uh, uh, 62, who knew? Boston. Uh, we're at the wonderful steampunk event at the Verizon Event Center here in 2019. I think it's still August, right? Yeah. Woo! Yes. To be able to help businesses to do the that part of it. But it's just been a couple years. Oh, and I've taken the business card files from our business card. Mm -hmm. Entrepreneurs and professionals of Tampa Bay. Welcome to your hour for getting the information, the tools, and the connections for battles on Radio Influence. Or you say left hand white, and then they catch the left hand white. What it does, it helps you quick with hand eye coordination. Wow. Yeah. Well, um, that's Your super connector. We want to introduce you to our 50 plus show partners. We got over 80 categories of expert contributor advice here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, and we want to. That's, that's where we disagree, but that's okay. I said nonviolent. That's okay. Because you know we're, we're one of the only states that don't give them back the right. Got Jamie Limbaugh. He is from the Next Step. Image. I love 
I love that name because you were telling me earlier early- for the type of republic we actually are is actually very correct. Yet politicians and regular people use these words interchangeably, even though technically they are very different. Uh, our- you're an overdoer, overachiever, people pleaser, we tend to neglect ourselves. Mm-hmm. And even as Sisters Connected here, you know, with women on script that I know. And we're back. Brandon Rimes here. I'm your host of the Consumer Quarterback Show and powered by the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. I want to remind you, we have the ability to make cash offers, fast cash closings, fast offers on your real estate through Keller Offers Program. So investors are ready. They're going to buy the property, close in a matter of days on your real estate investments. And I want to thank again our medical frontline staff workers out there, for everybody that's been affected uh, with the uh, the Wuhan coronavirus here. We appreciate you, you know, everything you do. Uh, and if you serve, you save as well. Veterans, first First responders, military, uh, nurses. We're offering uh, special opportunities, discounts. If you're listing, buying, selling, or investing in real estate, we would love to talk to you. We're the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. And we just were featured again uh, for the sixth time in Florida Realtor Magazine. So if you're watching our TV show version, we'll put those pictures up for you. You can see uh, that we were featured in Florida Realtor Magazine. You got the uh, Platinum MVP team, Keller Williams Realty. Uh, Florida Realtor Magazine is a statewide publication for all realtors. So that goes to every real estate uh, agent in the state of Florida. So MVP, talk about marketing, creative ways to promote your business. And uh, real excited to be featured in that. And a lot of the the you know accolades go to the quarterback on the team, the owner of the team, but it's really a team effort. So I kind of, you know, sometimes joke about that, you know, with the team uh, being in place, we got a great team. And, you know, you look at the ability to have uh, 15 agents, transaction coordinators, marketing agents, marketing assistants, uh, we've got a full service team that can help you win in your real estate state deals, buying, selling, or investing, we would love to talk to you. i uh, got a car wash available for sale. Anybody looking for a passive income commercial opportunity, 1410 North Betty Lane in Clearwater. This is a commercial opportunity, three-bay car wash. The land is included. It's a great opportunity to own passive investment opportunity. The owner tells me he puts about two hours of work in per week, and it generates three to $500 per week in income, especially when uh, love, be- love bug season, those types of things are around the corner. It's going to be an uptick in sales for his car wash at 1410 North Betty Lane and Clearwater. And we also have another property available in Pasco County, 7171 Millstone Street in Spring Hill. This is back on the market, just uh, reduced as well. Owners motivated at 7171 Millstone Sp- uh, Street, Spring Hill. Uh, it's a pretty neat layout. You got two master suites in this property, uh, four bedrooms, four baths, and it's got a really neat layout here in Tampa Bay. Check out all of our listings at platinummvpteam.kw.com, platinummvpteam.kw.com. And this segment is brought to you by Brothers Easy Moving, the official moving partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show. Brothers Easy Moving, reach out to Gary Thacker, his team, uh, whether you're planning a local or long distance move, reach out to our friends at Brothers Easy Moving, let them know the real estate quarterback sent you take them up on the special offers and incentives just by mentioning that you're a fan of the consumer quarterback show all right we got fred muth back on the show aka the 10 man tampa screens in aluminum and what are you seeing out there fred things are still you know somewhat we're dealing with this virus but i believe people are seeing that we're on the other end of this thing we're coming through and the light at the end of the tunnel is definitely present well the virus by no means has caused us a deficit in the business, which is amazing. Uh, last week I was on the show and I made a statement. I'm taking calls from people and uh, they, you know, three of them so far said to me, I'm sitting home looking at this backyard. I want to pull the trigger on the project. And, you know, we're just writing them right and left. Um, I, I don't like to always sound so optimistic because it's, uh, you know, a lot of people will do that just for hype and that's not me. Yeah. I'm looking at my computer sitting here at the uh, on the radio, and I'm looking at the 15 leads that just came through. <laughs> right, I, it's overwhelming. Uh, you know, we we honestly need a couple more salesmen in this business, and um, it's amazing. It's just you know that's that's a silver lining to this problem. I, I don't I don't wish this problem upon 
any society at any time because we really don't need this to, produ to produce sales. Um, let, let's go back to the virus itself. Uh, I, I honestly feel this that, that we that we really need to uh, relax with this thing for uh, for a little bit longer. I don't want to see this thing coming back leaps and bounds uh, much stronger without uh, without a vaccine, and which could happen if people uh, put, let their guards down. I, sh I certainly don't want to see that. But um, going back to business, uh, it, it is just amazing how much we're writing right now. And listening to Blake and Brandon talk about the real estate and the staging, it really it excites my interest once again, because that's what got me into this business was uh, my interest in real estate. And um, and I just saw these uh, beautiful outdoor living areas coming from the north. And I was so impressed with screen enclosures and patio rooms, I decided to, to get in the business. And um, I've been doing it for 28 years now, so I must do. I must be in uh, be enjoying it to a degree. Um, a, a lot of times, it's you know, commission's one thing. You get paid. That's another thing. You make a living. But to enhance the curb appeal of a property by designing and selling one of these enclosures and having one of these enclosures installed that's that's a real plus to me that uh, that's the, that's the feel good feeling in my business i'm sure you um, you can appreciate that uh, brandon being in the real estate business yeah exactly it's so rewarding and i think a lot of times people uh, they they jumped to conclusions when you look at what happened with the with the virus and how it came about. Uh, I came across this interesting this interesting article that talked about uh, where the economy is going and in, in, in terms of real estate sales. And it says five simple graphs proving this is not like the last time. So I'll go through this briefly here, um, Fred. We've got number one: mortgage standards are not like where they they were back then. So the the standards back then in the mortgage industry, we've all heard how loose they were. Uh, so I won't beat that dead horse. Number two: prices are not soaring out of control. Back then, again, we were calling appraisers, hey, I need this amount of value. I'm trying to do a cash out refi for this client. And, you know, that was what kind of fueled uh, the issue for prices uh, getting out of control. Number three, we don't have a surplus of homes on the market. We actually have a shortage. And that's true here in Tampa Bay. Uh, we've been talking about a low inventory market for a long time. Number four, houses became too expensive to buy. This was a big one back in the 08 meltdown. Uh, the affordability has three components. So you're talking about a price of the home, the wages earned by the purchaser, how much money are they earning as income, and a lot of uh, frontline workers, first responders, uh, you know, folks working in, in the ambulance, for example, teachers. Uh, you know, they weren't their incomes weren't rising with the same at the same rate as the prices of the home. So it was a reset that actually needed to be made, and mortgage rates are available at the time. Again, you know, right now we're at three and a half, four and a half percent on mortgage rates. And then number five, people are equity rich and not tapped out. So back then the equity was tapped out and it's not now. So, Fred, you know, differentiation between now and then big time. Oh, without a doubt. You know, it's, obviously we have some financial issues in the, in the world, in the country right now. But uh, it's it's not by any means a similar problem as it was back then, 07, 08, 09. And I. I I was in the business then, and boy, I felt the pain. One day, the phone stopped ringing, and there was a reason for it, and uh, it was a frightening feeling. Yeah, and this, and, and talking about that as well is, is you know, it was a slow rebound. Like we came out of that as a slow rebound, so it was more of like a U-shaped uh, recovery. This time, it's going to be a big time pronounced V shape. So it's going to hit down and it's going to bounce back up quickly because now real estate is going to be one of the sectors that leads us out of this uh, downturn, this recession. Uh, it's going to it's going to be a V shape rebound. It's going to be a fast rebound, and we're going to come back strong. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that happening. I uh, I talked to a lot of other people in the business in uh, in the real estate business, and they they all um, they. they Everybody agrees that that's typically the way it's going to go, which uh, to me it's it's ideal. I mean, basically it's it's going to come back, and the, and the entire country is going to come back leaps and bounds. I, I I get a little nervous about some of the establishments, the bars, restaurants. Uh, yeah. I believe a lot of them are taking significant hits, and and that's you know that's a shame because they're they're small business people, and and they try to get try to you know in their in their. Um, Whatever years they are, you know, however old they are, at whatever stage they are in their life, they come down from another state and they open up this bar restaurant. And obviously, they're they're not doing any anything um, worth a darn right now, with the exception of takeout. But uh, there's that's just enough money to keep the lights burning. So my heart does go out to them people as well. 
Yeah, exactly. And I, I uh, was been talking to a lot of different business owners, you know, people I, I frequent on takeout or different places. And I know the unemployment, I was talking with attorney Jason Coble yesterday, you know, the employment, unemployment now, they added an additional 600 to the 275. So you're talking about, uh, what, 875 a week that people are making. Uh, and also not just W-2, but they open that up to independent contractors. And to me, it's frustrating because we know who's going to foot the bill for that. It's the middle income taxpayer who's going to fit the bill. That's true. That's right. Yeah. So it's a, it's a challenge. It's a challenging time. <clears throat> yes, we need we need some relief. We need to get through this time. Uh, but at the same time, we don't need to burden the middle class with more taxes on top of what we're already paying. And that's you know, essentially what we did with these bailouts. Again, you know, tapping into the uh, you know the taxpayers' budget, and you know we're going to be the ones paying that bill whenever they the, they you know come out of this. It's going to be yeah, you know, it's going to be frustrating for a lot of people. <laughs> Um, I'm so glad to be on the show again. Um, again, I, I, I'm going to get back in the studio. I, I feel I, I love that studio atmosphere. I love the, um, you know, the nervous energy. I need it. I need to get back to it. But uh, when we're done with me now, I'm, I'm going to have to pass on the lightning round because I'm uh, okay. a little bit behind today on some of the appointments that I have to run out and uh, get some jobs measured. All right, buddy. Well, uh, we'll ask you then. We got about a minute left. We'll ask you for your top tip, your nugget of advice, and your parting words of wisdom right now. My top answer is: uh, I don't care if you're bidding out a, a uh, patio screen room, whatever construction project or project that is around the home. Um, I advise the consumer to please ask a lot of questions because there's nothing worse in this business than having a big surprise on the back end because something wasn't covered. And um, sometimes the representatives can foresee the surprises, and they should bring all the, uh, you know, all the um, to the attention when they when they talk about the project when they're commencing the sale. However, I love when the consumer themselves continues to pepper me and anybody else with our company with the questions because we feel good about that. We know that they're either well-informed or trying to become well-informed. And if for whatever reason we, we fail to talk about some issue and they cover it, it's covered on the back end and there's no surprise. Absolutely. Good stuff. All right. Thanks so much, Fred Muth. Tampa Screens and Aluminum, we appreciate you. And uh, say hello uh, to the, your friends over there at Tampa Screens and Aluminum. And when we come back, more from our expert contributors here in studio and our feel-good story of the day, Neighborhood Surprises Little Girl with Dog Parade for her birthday. We'll be right back after this short timeout. Don't go anywhere. All right, this week we're going to talk about something exciting as usual. We always have something exciting. Yes, we do. At least it's exciting to us. But this is a question that comes up. TV, hey, it is Friday night. We're not here. Yes, we pre-recorded once again because we Beam TV is working over in Tampa with the Angelina Star. <laughs> 62, who knew? I almost said professional Morgan Alliance, Joe's Bar and Grill. But actually, it's our 39th week of uh, 62, who knew? Uh, we're at the wonderful steampunk event at the Verizon Event Center here in 2019. I think it's still August, right? Yeah. Woo! Yes. To be able to help businesses to do the that part of it. It's just been a couple years. Well, oh, and I've taken the business card files from our business card mm -hmm. today. Entrepreneurs and professionals of Tampa Bay Welcome to your hour for getting the information, the tools, and the connections Ian for battles on radio influence. Or you say left hand white, and then they catch the left hand white. What it does, it helps you quick with hand eye coordination. Wow. Yeah. Well, um, that's Your super connector. We want to introduce you to our 50 plus show partners. We got over 80 categories of expert contributor advice here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, and we want to. That's, that's where we disagree, but that's okay. I said nonviolent. That's okay. Because you know we're we're one of the only states 
that don't give them back their right. got Jamie Limbaugh. He is from the Next Step Image. I love, I love that image because you were telling me earlier. For the type of republic we actually are is actually very correct. Yet politicians and regular people use these words interchangeably, even though technically they are very different. Uh, our you're an overdoer, overachiever, people pleaser, we tend to neglect ourselves. Mm -hmm. And even as Sisters Connected here, you know, with Women Unscripted, I know. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here, your host of the Consumer Quarterback Show. We sincerely appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule and tuning into our show. Uh, we promise to serve you as a consumer advocate. We want to help you buying, selling, or investing in real estate, and plus, you know, supporting our 80-plus show partners here, uh, different categories of consumer advocate content and advice uh, right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, Tampa Bay and the Gulf Coast region's number one consumer advocate program right here based in Tampa Bay. And i got to tell you, it's a great time to reach Reach out to our friends at Replenish IV Solutions. A lot of people are looking for ways to increase their immunity and their uh, their system. Uh, vitamins, minerals, electrolytes provided through a vitamin infusion drip from Replenish IV Solutions, the science of nutritional balance. Reach out to Stephen and Lisa Gunnan, Replenish IV Solutions. Let them know that the real estate quarterback sent you for special offers and incentives. You got the Myers cocktail as the most notable, the most popular. It's going to be a, an injection directly into your bloodstream and it's good stuff going in there vitamins minerals electrolytes carol wood office and a south tampa office on gandy reach out to our friends at replenish iv solutions make sure you let them know the real estate quarterback sent you and a couple of hot listings here we've got 19206 us highway 19 in uh, Clearwater. This is a gorgeous opportunity for a commercial development, commercial builder, uh, as well as uh, just an existing business. You've got a freestanding building right here in Clearwater. Move your business to this location. Perfect for a 1031 exchange. 19206 U.S. Highway 19 North in Clearwater. Great opportunity here in beautiful Tampa Bay. 14527 Potterton Circle in Hudson. This is a owner, uh, the owner's motivated on this property. Uh, Potterton Waterton Circle Hudson. It's a gorgeous three-bedroom, two-bath property. Ownership pride is definitely showing through on this property. Uh, affordable uh, family home right here in Tampa Bay, Hudson, Florida. Check out all of our listings at platinummvpteam.kw.com. All right, back here in studio. We're in studio now. We've got uh, Brandon Faust, President Mold Zero here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. I want to welcome you into the studio, my friend. Awesome. Yeah, thanks for having me, Brandon. Yeah, man, Glad my pleasure. Here. So yeah. Mold is, you know, we talk about sometimes it's a silent killer. It's one of those things that people don't know a lot about. Uh, maybe first, if you could give us a little bit of background on yourself and the company. Sure. So Mold Zero, is, um, it's a different company. We're obviously a traditional uh, mold remediation company. Yep. We uh, do the everything that any other remediation company would do in terms of the tear out, the HEPA vacuuming, um, everything that you would basically expect from a remediation company. But the one thing that makes us different is we also treat the entire home. So I've been doing this for years. I basically inspected thousands of homes at this point in time. I've overseen at least a thousand different projects when it comes to actually handling the mold in a home. But the, the main thing that I would say uh, makes us different is the fact that we are addressing the indoor air quality as a whole. We're not just going in and doing spot treatment where we're tearing out contaminated material. As you brought up, it is a silent killer. It is one of those things that people don't know about. Um, you know, it's, it's not a respected subject, honestly, like it should be. It's not something that you want to be in right. fear about, but it is something that you want to respect and know about so that if you do run into it, it's uh, something that you can handle because it can actually cause some pretty serious physical situations right. and mental issues as well, believe it or not. Right. Yeah, absolutely. We, we've had some different stories through uh, over the years with uh, the, the, the mold building up in a home the, to a toxic level where the, the patients or the, the homeowner or, or tenant is actually hospitalized. Have you, have you seen any of that happen as well? For sure. I actually, I mean, we deal with a lot of functional medicine uh, doctors' referrals, okay? They send a lot of their guys to us for the reason that we're not just um, going to go in and let's say uh, a person had a leak and then we're going to remove that contaminated material. Mm -hmm. We're going to address the entire home. OK, sometimes you smell it, sometimes you don't. But the truth of the matter is mold is it's microscopic. OK, mm -hmm. you can actually fit 
10 mold spores on the tip of a hair. So it's extremely tiny. Wow. So it's not something that you should see with the naked eye. It's not something that if you're seeing it colonizing, it's honestly past a point where you'd really want it to be. I'm not talking about a little bit of stuff in the shower, which you can treat yourself. But if you see growth in different places, you have most likely spores that are floating around in your home that are at a level that would be higher than you'd actually want it to be. Right. Okay? So a lot of people have heard of toxic black mold. And yes, toxic black mold is definitely a serious situation. But you basically have three different categories of mold. Uh, you have allergenic pathogenic and toxic okay so yes a toxic mold is going to pretty much destroy the immune system of even a healthy person mm. all right your pathogenic molds like your aspergillus penicillium that's the type of stuff that can actually cause long-term physical impact i mean you have um tests where the mycotoxins or the biotoxins that are connected with the pathogenic molds like the aspergillus penicillium etc they've been linked to alzheimer's they've been uh, linked to dementia uh, Parkinson's, you name it. So this is mm. this is a common mold. It's most people refer to it as the bread mold. But when you have it at levels where it's like fifty thousand per cubic meter, which is something that I see often in Florida because of the humidity issues, right? That can really cause some trouble for people. And then you have the allergenic types of molds, uh, namely Cladosporium, which you see in the vents a lot. You see in the ducts, right? Mm -hmm. But the truth of the matter is, this, the mold, the spores don't stay in the ducts. They don't stay on the vents. Those are getting blown around and you're breathing those in you know mm. so guys wake up in the morning they're congested they have uh achy joints you yep. know they have things like that and they're wondering why and they've been breathing this in all night long Ooh. you know and it's something that uh it can really cause a lot of issues so we address the entire building envelope not just one area mold zero yeah uh if you just joined us we're talking with brandon faust uh president mold zero and germ zero and the big talk right now is the coronavirus and and you know treating properties treating homes sanitizing sure, i noticed yeah. that some of your fogging materials are non-toxic as well as well exactly uh, can you can you elaborate on a little bit about that i think a lot of times people say oh i don't want these chemicals in my house that no it's it's scary i mean and obviously, yeah. you don't want to have um, something come into your home that's worse than the actual problem that it's there to solve, right? right? So that was something that was crucial for us at Mold Zero was to find products. You know, me being a, a dad, I have, you know, a son who's almost three. I have a daughter who's one. Anything that I'm going to use in my home, uh, I want, or anything that I'm going to treat use in somebody else's home, I want to be able to use it in my home, right? Okay, with my kids, with my dog, etc. So, you know, treating germs, just to go back to that point, that's actually a lot easier to handle than mold. Okay, mold is a living, breathing organism that actually defends itself when you attack it. Mm -hmm. You know, a uh, germ or a virus, you know, that's something that it's sitting there uh, waiting to be picked up, and then obviously. Uh, the transmission can occur, right? But ultimately, you're trying to destroy the membrane of the virus, trying to penetrate it and inactivate it, okay? So the dwell time that it takes to actually do that is actually a lot less than the dwell time necessary to kill airborne spores, okay? Or to kill surface mold and then the airborne spores. So yes, Germ Zero, we can go in, we can sanitize a commercial building or a home and actually about five times uh, faster than what we would do for a mold treatment. And our mold treatments are already quick. You know, we actually can go in there and, uh, you know, a home, you know, average size home might take us three or four hours to, to do that. And then you can actually be back in the home three hours afterwards because mm. the products that we're using, uh, you know, we're using a hydrogen peroxide based product. This yeah. has obviously been in the news a lot recently in terms of its uh, disaffecting potential, yeah. right? Just like with the N95 masks. Yeah. So we basically are creating a, a dry fog that lingers in the home for 20, 30 minutes, all right? So that way, everything stays in place. Your couches, your furniture, your clothes, you don't have to move any of it, right? And it's not going to have any sort of impact when you come back in. There's no residue when we're doing the mold zero treatment, all right? It's going to basically, it's an EPA-registered uh, product. Mm. Um, and we also put down a one-year protective coating as well to mitigate any sort of mold growth. Now, on the germ uh, zero treatment, we're using a EPA-approved uh, list-in product, all right, that we also are going to be uh, aerosolizing and then doing the mechanical scrub down to also make sure that any sort of uh, soil load is also removed. Mm -hmm. But we're going to be following the protocols laid out by the CDC and also uh, by norming. So pretty much every single one of my technicians, we've got them trained as certified sanitization professionals at this point in time. So we can get in there, make sure that that space is safe give employees peace of mind, giving customers peace of mind, knowing that that is a safe space.
All right. Obviously, you can't make you know claims that it's going to handle every single thing that occurs. That's just not a reality. You know, mm -hmm. somebody can come in there who's been sick, you know, sneeze on somebody, and that might cause a problem. But in terms of the actual surfaces, the critical touch points, all of those types of things, those are going to be addressed. Mm -hmm. Right to make sure that that space is totally safe. Yeah, I think it's a great opportunity for our listening audience, and it, maybe you're watching our TV show version, uh, to reach out. This is an opportunity to text in, call in. <clears throat> Let's text uh, MOLD to 813-670-7372. We'll put you right in touch with Brandon and his team at MOLD Zero. And they also have the Germ Zero solution as well. So uh, MOLD or, uh, you know, if you just want to get a whole house sanitation, commercial or residential, uh, text the word MOLD uh, to 813-670-7372. That's our Consumer Advocate Hotline. And we'll put you right in touch with Brandon and his team uh, right here in uh, Tampa Bay. Again, a lot of our companies are locally based, supporting the local economy uh, by doing that, reaching out to our hotline, 813-670-7372. Uh, call or text that line. It's an off-air number. Uh, so we will put you directly in touch with Brandon and his team. So the humidity is such a huge factor. Is there anything the average homeowner can do uh, in terms of trying to minimize this potential for mold? Absolutely. So obviously Tampa Bay, it's a humid place. We all know that Florida, you know, the humidity for a majority of the year, at least eight months out of the year, is going to be over what you would want in terms of mitigating mold growth. So the actual threshold is 61%. You're going to see mold start growing uh, at 61%. Now, obviously, this is not if it, you know, ran that way for an hour, right? Mm -hmm. But for long periods of time, you can actually get mold growth at that point in time. Mm. So you have two different types of uh, molds in terms of dry mold and wet molds. So your toxic molds are your wet molds. Those are the ones that are gonna come from water intrusion issues. Your dry molds are gonna actually be able to grow with just humidity alone. So, you know, you hear this um, term sometimes, uh, old Florida smell, right? Oh, don't worry about it, it's just an old Florida smell. No, sorry to say, guys, but that's actually mold. And you mm. have growth underneath the planks at the homes that is now moving into the actual building envelope. You have it in closets, you have it in ducts, you have it in places that you're not seeing it, right? So if you have that musty smell, you want to address it, okay? Because ultimately, you're going to be breathing in stuff that can impact the immune system. Now, obviously, I'm not a doctor, I'm a mold guy, yeah. but we've dealt with a lot of the patients of doctors. We've um, talked to a lot of the doctors ourselves, so we understand that subject. Well, let's talk more about that when we come back. Also, our feel-good story of the day, Neighborhood Surprises Little Girl with Dog Parade for her birthday. Find out about that and more from our expert contributors right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com.
And we're back. Brandon Brimes here, your host of the Consumer Quarterback Show, powered by the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. This segment is brought to you by Two Maids in a Mop, our official cleaning partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show. Two Maids in a Mop, uh, they have a unique pay-for performance plan. It's one big, huge competitive advantage when it comes to safe, reliable, professional-grade cleaning supplies uh, on your home or office. Uh, reach out to our friends at Two Maids in a Mop, uh, professional cleaners. They do a great job cleaning our property. And, uh, you know, if you're a busy person, busy business person, man or woman, uh, you know, single mom, sometimes, you know, you're working, you're doing your thing. Let two maids in a mop come in and do the deep cleaning on your properties. And uh, they have the pay for performance plan. It's a awesome opportunity for you to reach out to maids in a mop right here in Clearwater. Let them know the real estate quarterback sent you two maids in a mop here in Tampa Bay. And every day we're going to tell you something positive in our feel good story of the day. And a neighborhood in North Carolina surprised a three-year-old girl on her birthday with a social distancing dog parade. So Elizabeth Guthrie's parents wanted to have a special birthday celebration, but they were not not sure how to make that possible. And knowing that how much Elizabeth loves dogs, uh, they came up with a brilliant idea. Uh, they put a sign in their front yard, date and time of the birthday celebration, and quote, the, the gist was, hey, if you're going to walk your dog anyway, would you mind just walking your dog by our place between 5 and 5.30 and wish her a happy birthday with your pup? Uh, Elizabeth's father, Mike, told the news and record. And the family was shocked by the response. By 5.15, there were 17 dogs, 41 people gathered in social distance clusters on both sides of the street. The numbers grew steadily as the minutes passed. Some people made signs for Elizabeth as they walked by. Many uh, dressed their dogs up with cute outfits and party hats. And uh, Elizabeth's parents said it was been one of the most memorable birthdays yet. So there's our feel-good story of the day. Something different for you here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Always want to give you that that uh, you know consumer advocated content and advice, but also positive positive stories like that that will brighten your day here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. So we have uh, in studio, we've got Brandon Faust, uh, and also on the phones, we're going to go back with Blake Knotts uh, from Fabre Frameworks. Uh, but first, I wanted to have a couple follow-up questions for uh, Brandon here with President of Mold Zero and Germ Zero here in Tampa Bay. And we were talking about the the subject of humidity, how to control humidity. Uh, so why don't we finish up you know, that question and, and give that consumer tip? Sure. I mean, the, the truth of the matter is the AC unit should be handling your humidity issues in your home. If it's not, you want to get that inspected by a licensed AC guy who really knows his business. Uh, one problem you can actually run into is your AC might be too big for your home. And if that's the case, it could actually cause flash cooling and it's leaving humidity on surfaces, which can lead to a serious mold problem. Uh, potentially you have issues where it's just not functioning the way it should. Maybe there's already mold on the coils, it's in the ducts, etc. So your humidity is, your AC is the answer to your humidity first and foremost. Second, I would always have a, de a dehumidifier on on hand, you can get one, mm. you know, in store, uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, etc. Uh, I would get one with an automatic pump. All right, so you don't have to worry about draining it all the time, uh, and also have your humidistats. You can pick them up on Amazon for 15 bucks, and just make sure your humidity is staying under 60 percent. You know, these snowbirds, they uh, come back after being gone for four months. They want to save money. You know, 82 degrees or whatever it is, and they're like running it at 70 percent humidity. I mean, that's a massive mold problem. You come home yeah. and it's like green everywhere. And uh, they think they're going to handle it by uh, spraying it with bleach. They, they have another thing coming. It's actually going to aerosolize the mold spores when they hit it with the bleach. It's, it's going to make thing. it push yeah. it out in the, in the open. That's right. It's a lot like taking a baseball bat to a beehive. You know, So yep. if you sit there, you try to clean it on your on yourself, when you've had a mold bloom, uh, you just put yourself in a, in a real bad place. You know? so Let you me ask you this. That. So a lot of times people... They have uh, sellers, they, they have uh, these vacant properties. They mm -hmm. say, oh, well, you know, I'm just going to turn the air conditioner off. Uh, and I tell them, I say, hey, at least, you, you know, keep it at 78, 70, mm -hmm. you know, preferably you probably push it at 79, 80. But yeah. you, the more important than the temperature is the humidity issue. You right. got to keep it under 60. You could have it at 83 degrees. Right. That's fine. If you had yeah. a dehumidifier running in there that with an automatic pump, you know. Yeah. And they're looking to save money. That's they're not saving that much money by oh. running the air conditioning at 79, 80 degrees. Not at all. It's going to keep pushing out the air. Let's put it this way. If you have a mold bloom, that's your whole home. Right. Yep. That's going to be a very expensive proposition. Right. So the hundred bucks or whatever it may be that you're saving, you're going to spend it, you know, a hundred times that. Yeah. Honestly, if you uh, have a mold bloom in your home. 
Absolutely. Okay. All right, let's jump into our lightning round here now. We've got Blake Knotts on the line for Brave Frameworks. And in studio here, Brandon Faust, President, uh, Mold Zero, Germ Zero here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. All right, Blake, top tips, nuggets of advice, parting words of wisdom. Yeah, right now, right now, Brandon, in, in these times, it's it's just stay safe. Uh, right, I, I would say to utilize uh, utilize all the the technology that we have right now with the the virtual tours and the video walkthroughs to to still be able to execute business, uh, but but maintaining that that the safety regulations that the CDC is pushing out. Um, all our photographers right now, they got mask, gloves, hand sanitizer. They're sanitizing their equipment before and after appointments. So. You know, like I said, utilize the technologies that we have to to stay safe in this in this crazy environment. Yeah, absolutely. All right, right here in studio, Brandon Faust, Mold Zero, top tips, parting words of wisdom. Yeah, sure. I think that um, with everything happening right now with the the virus and obviously the concern that people have, uh, the Germ Zero treatment is a great way to go, especially for real estate agents. You know, that are wanting to sell a home. People are wondering if this is going to be a clean space or not. They can use our services. We'll go in there. Uh, the price on the Germ Zero treatment is extremely affordable. We've made it um, price for volume, right? It's about five times faster than the mold treatment. But beyond that, in terms of you know that being the concern right here, right now, I think the bigger concern is the people that are in their homes right now. They're experiencing, honestly, things that mold creates a similar sort of um, – I guess symptom list as the COVID-19 in terms of respiratory mm -hmm. issues, coughing, itchy eyes, congestion, all kinds of stuff, right? So these guys are now in their homes, you know, 24-7 breathing this in. Mm. So I would get your home checked. If you're, if you're feeling uh, the physical impact and you're feeling worse being in your home, yeah. right, you might want to get look get that looked into in terms of a, a licensed certified inspector. But even more important than licensed and certified, you want a guy who really knows and understands mold. Because you can get a license and a certification for mold. It's not that hard. Right. But finding somebody who really understands it, who understands yeah. things like mast cell activation syndrome or uh, chronic inflammation yeah. response syndrome, the actual impact that mold can have on the physical body right. is really crucial and how to clean that up and not just the growth, yeah. but what's airborne. Yeah. Can you imagine, you know, if you're stuck in quarantine or, you know, home, home, uh, safer at home orders and you have this lingering issue behind the walls, you don't even know it's there, Yeah. especially in an older home, uh, you know, could potentially be there. So if you're experiencing these, uh, these, these symptoms, these things, you want to reach out, we'd love to put you in touch uh with brandon here and what what i'm just curious what are the hours to get those certifications because i know in real estate you know it's a 62 hour course and unfortunately uh there's a lot of great agents out there a lot of really good agents great people and then there's a lot of bad ones too and yeah. I, I come across those people and you know they're giving bad advice to their clients they're muddying up the the waters for a lot of people what what, what would it be in i your mean case? it really depends on your education right if you've gone to college you know it's a uh, different in terms of somebody who's been in the field, et cetera. Yep. Um, you know, the, the four years that somebody who's been in the field, right. But it, the training itself, you know, it, you take a class for a week or something like that and you can get your certification. Yep. Right. But f in terms of the guys at mold zero, myself included, we do double, triple our continuing education every year. Yeah. Right? Cause it's not a matter of just having your certificate, your certificate. It's a matter of staying on top of things, really understanding it, having right. that knowledge, which is top of the line because you're talking about people's health, right? Yeah. Even though you're not a doctor, we're not yeah. treating the patient, we're treating the home, but yeah. it does have an impact. So it's really a matter of knowing what you're talking about. Absolutely. So yeah, that's a big part of it. All right. Back to you, Blake. Uh, anything else happened on your end? You know, we're, we're, we're continuing, continuing to grow, continuing to expand our services, um, you know, similar to what Frank was talking with, with the, the, the clients coming in. You know, we're seeing a lot of that as well. So fortunate to be in a business that's, that's going to continue to continue to grow and, and pick this economy back up, uh, like you mentioned earlier. Um, again, I, you know, right now I'm just saying stay safe and, and, and take advantage of all the technology that we have to, to continue life as we used to know it. And, you know, it's after, after this, there's going to be a new norm. So, you know, just understanding the technologies and taking advantage of each of those. Yeah, absolutely. Technology is a big play in any business and you want to stay on the cutting edge of technology and, you know, invest in education, invest in ways that you can uh, take advantage of those curbs. You know, you're looking at uh, ways that things are changing, things are evolving. I think uh, we were talking with someone they had, I think, Zoom before the whole uh, crisis happened with the uh, Chinese virus. Uh, Zoom had, I, I want to say, around um, 10 
<clears throat> 10, what was it, 10 million users with Zoom. And then after, I've heard reports that, it, that it's up to like 190,000 people that are actually subscribed to Zoom now. So think about how that technology changed that industry. Uh, is your, are your business using any kind of virtual stuff or is it more of a hands-on? You I be mean, there? honestly, um, when you're dealing with mold, you need to be able to have like the smell. You need yeah. to be able to go in, see what's going on there, look at it, you know. And even then, looking at it and smelling it is not enough. You know, yeah. you have to sample it, send it off to a lab. So it's not something. So, of course, we're wearing masks. We're wearing gloves. Yeah. We're doing all of those things to make sure our guys stay safe and the clients stay safe. But it really is not uh, It's not negotiable, really. Yeah. You have to go and see what's going on. Absolutely. And then we're going to get a protocol, you know, from an independent inspector. If, let's say, we're the guys handling it not doing the inspection. You know, we do offer uh, a free home eval in terms of coming and looking at the scenes and then giving you recommendations, yep. right? But we're not going to get into any sort of tear out uh, type of uh, job unless it's been inspected, unless we know for sure it is mold, right? Right, And the samples have been taken. Yeah. yeah. Cause I know some people, they, they find these REOs or this foreclosure home and they start going in there and walking around without a mask on. And when they know they, they have a pretty good indication that, yeah, the roof leaked for weeks. It's been open like this for months. Yeah. There's mold growing and they, they still walk in there and look at these properties. And that's just not a good idea to be yeah. in a house like that. So, uh, yeah, cause just not, it doesn't matter. Like, just like a virus, if you're not seeing it, it doesn't mean it's not a problem. Right. Right. There yeah. can definitely be a problem. And definitely, I run into it myself where I had an actual situation. I wasn't smelling it in my room. Yeah. I had no idea. I was having physical impact. I was having a fever. My chest was hurting. I thought it was probably from going in and out of moldy homes. Yep. And it wasn't until my AC leaked. Yep. Right, that I found the mold behind the wall. So, you know. Hey, another great show. Hey, I want to thank Brandon Faust, President Mold Zero, Germ Zero, Blake Knotts, Fred Muth, Tampa Screens and Aluminum. And we want you to please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness. We'll see you next time right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Make sure you check out ConsumerQB.com and follow us online at Brandon Rhymes one on Instagram and Twitter, Consumer Quarterback Show page on Facebook. We'll see you next time. You've been listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's real estate, consumer, or financial advice, let Brandon call your next play. Contact Brandon Rhymes at 813-670-7372. That's 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. And join us next time.